This is the Excellent Sports Adventure. Well, the Leafs are looking for a new general manager. It's not me. I'm, I'm busy. Kyle Dilbix could have had the job if he had really wanted it, but he seemed like he didn't. So Brenda Chanahan looked at that and he said, it's time to go in a different direction. I got a call in the afternoon from his agent and um, basically a, a new financial package was presented to me by the agent. Um, the conversation was brief. I did not hear from Kyle throughout the day and I went home and just before dinner time I got an email from Kyle saying that he did want to be the, uh, the general manager of the Maple Leafs. At that point, I have to, if I'm being honest, I, I was, I had gotten to a different place about how I felt about the future of the Toronto Maple Leafs and what was best. And as hard as it was and as hard as, as it is to make a significant change to somebody that you're close to and that you've been working with for nine years, I, even though I was presented with um, well, a gap had risen within the contract status, and um, but nevertheless, uh, the email that I received from Kyle, I, I I just felt differently, and I felt that the long-term future of the Maple Leafs might have to change. Panthers and Hurricanes conference final game two overtime. Sam Bennett to Sam Reinhart to Matthew Kuchuk. His second straight overtime winner, his third of the playoffs, that ties the record. Let's go home, says Kuchuk. It's a 2-1 victory, nine straight road wins for the Cats. They take game three at home. Sergei Bobrovsky has been stellar. Florida is just one win away from a trip to the Cup Final. Well, that kid from Kitchener is having himself quite an NBA playoff run, isn't he? Jamal Murray has been phenomenal, combining with Nikola Jokovic as the Nuggets have rolled through the Western Conference. 37 points in that Game 3 win over the Lakers in L.A. What an incredible playoff for the Canadian, and now it's off to the final. Well, those Blue Jay bats have suddenly gone stone cold, and the losses are mounting. Actually, the pitching and defense hasn't been bad at all. Obichette's sweet play to start the inning-ending double play. They need an extra innings. Turin Barbara bangs out a base hit in the 11th, scores a pair. The Orioles win 8-3 for the sweep. Jay stranded oodles of base runners, losing into Tampa. They now drop 7 of 8. It's kind of uh, at the point where it's, you know, enough's enough. You know what I mean? You're waiting for it to turn. It will. Not I think it will. I know it will. But in order to get there, I mean, the guys are just going to have to continue to work their asses off to do it and not just expect that it's going to happen. you got to work your ass off for it to happen and totally confident that they will. Another tough loss for Toronto FC. FC Austin pulled out a one nothing win in injury time. The Reds have one win in their last 11 games, sitting dead last in the conference. Vancouver moved into seventh in the West with a 2 nothing win over Seattle. All those belts, natural, lightweight, and a good one. Vasily Lomachenko giving up six and a half inches in reach. He's 11 years older. He does have that extensive amateur experience, two Olympic gold medals, and a really good pro. Now, he also wanted to get even for that nasty push by Haney at the weigh-in. So Lomachenko, unlike the fight with Teofimo Lopez, he comes out strong in this fight. Landing combinations, throwing combinations. Devin Haney, great body attack, good shin. But Loma was landing more punches, throwing more punches, and landing more effective punches. But the dream gets a decision, retains those belts. It was an absolutely brutal decision. Loma won this fight. Okay, let's hear it for Lucas Body. The Prince scored a knockout win over Jesus Emperor of Mexico in Body's hometown of Niagara Falls to win the IBF North American Lightweight title. He's now 14 0 with 12 knockouts on the same card. Hamilton Spencer Wilcox improved to 6 0, a unanimous decision victory. Spencer has been on the show, and you know what? The kid can fight. Now it's time for our shot of the week. We go to Mike Duffy on number 14 at Sleepy Hollow, the par four. God damn it. Four. Michael Duffy here in the par four, 14. He's going for it in one. He is 
is on the green. I don't know. He will be putting for Eagle. Oh yeah, he's there. He's there. God damn it. Four! The shot of the week is brought to you by Sleepy Hollow Country Club. 60 years of tradition, providing a challenging and enjoyable golf experience just minutes from Toronto.